Hi guys, with the return of Hall Effect keyboards, let's have a look at what makes these keyboards so special. In short, the Hall Effect is when a magnetic field perpendicular to an electric current bends off electrons and causes a separate voltage across it. Let me illustrate this in a slightly simplified way. Suppose that this strip is a metal wire with current running through it. So you've got electrons shown by these coins flowing from one side to the other, like this. Now, if you put a magnet on one side, it's going to bend some electrons off their path, depending on how strong the magnet is and its distance to the wire. This is because moving electrons cause a magnetic field and therefore an external magnetic field will bend them off, which is called the Lorentz force. So what you'll be seeing is that on one end of the wire, there will be electrons piling up to some degree. Because electrons are negatively charged, you therefore have a lot of negative charges on one side of the wire, but not on the other side. So basically you can say that this side is very minus and the other side is plus, at least by comparison. In other words, there is a potential difference of voltage across the wire. So not along the direction of the current, but across it. That voltage is called the whole voltage and the phenomenon is called the whole effect. If you use a semiconductor, you can make a small circuit that measures this whole voltage. And that's what they do in keyboards. In this old keyboard made by Honeywell, for example, they use four pin circuits just like this for the whole element with an input ground and two pins for the output. The switch itself has a magnet embedded in the slider so that it moves in front of the circuit when you press a button, which causes a greater whole voltage and the keyboard picks that up. But why should I care if my keyboard uses Hall effect switches? Well, there are several advantages of using the Hall effect compared to a normal conductive switch. What happens in conductive switches like Cherry MX, for example, is that the slider pushes two metal contacts together, which close a circuit and registers the key press. But as you can see, this requires physical contact between the slider and the metal bits, which causes friction. So the key feel is scratchy. In a Hall effect keyboard, there's no need for physical contact because all it is is a magnet on a spring moving up and down in the vicinity of a sensor. So there's no parts that rub together and the key field can be made much smoother. Second, because the mechanism is so simple, just a solid state sensor and a moving magnet, these are incredibly reliable. Mechanical switches last tens of millions of key presses, but the old Honeywell ones like these were rated at 30 Billion key presses. That's right, billion. Third, they are bounce free. Contact bounce happens on all conductive switches. Basically, when the contacts close, they actually rapidly close and open for a short while due to literal bouncing of the contacts. Generally, this takes five milliseconds or less, and the keyboard controller is simply programmed to ignore the opening and closing of the switch for a set period of time after it's triggered. This is called debouncing. However, sometimes when a switch gets dirty, is not well made, or the contacts start to wear, a switch can bounce for longer than the keyboard is set to ignore it. This will result in a key being registered more than once, and this phenomenon is called chattering. But Hall effect switches are not contact based at all, they simply detect an analog voltage across a wire, so they are never affected by bounce or chatter. So, in short, Hall effect switches are an alternative to contact based switches that can offer smoother key feel, do not suffer from bounce and are much more reliable. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching.